If you're looking for a new way to jazz up a room in your home, my next guest surely has the answer. Hi, Gary. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Now, Gary, you are my self-finishing expert here in the loft, and you always bring wonderful new things for us. So what did you bring for us today? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do like four or five techniques, but if you combine them all together, you got one big end technique, and I call it cross garlands. Oh, okay. This is it? This is beautiful. This is it. It has a real soft modeled background and multiple colored stencil, and okay. I'll show you how to do it. It's real easy. I do. I love all of the colors. I think they're really great. These are typical colors that I'm using a lot today, but of course you could use anything in your own decor. Right, right. Of course, the first, we could mix. The first step is you want to mix up a glaze. So I have a latex-based paint, and I have mm -hmm. a glazing medium. I've already mixed it up together, and then you want to roll that onto your wall, which is what I'm doing right now as we speak. You want to have a nice, even amount of that material onto the surface um, so you can then take it off with the rag and that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. I'm going to do a real soft rag finish which okay. again just by itself could be could be a finish in its own. There's one finish right there. Right. Now if I want to do a little more to that I could take a big brush like this or a four inch brush or anything mm -hmm. and just lightly soften that finish back down. You can see the difference between where it's crisper right. and where it's a little softer. Where it's soft in the lines. Right. Now you can soften as much as you would want. Okay. Now Gary, I'm using glazes a lot with um, this season yep. with my viewers and sharing it with them and letting them know that really the secret about it is that it lets you manipulate things and that it really can be a wonderful tool for them to use. Now you mixed latex paint. I've been using some acrylic paint with it, but you can use latex. Yes, you can. Just you a regular... can use latex house paint that you can buy straight from the paint store. Okay. So even if you have leftover paint out in the garage. As long as it's not been frozen, okay. then well, it's good. <laughs> well, let's hope not. Hey, it's the northern thing, though, right? right? Now that I'm in the south now, Gary, you know, I don't That's have right. frozen paint in my garage like you, Mr. Ohio. So now what you want to do now that it's, it's dry, uh -huh. you can take a stencil of your choice, of course. Oh, that's beautiful. And stencil. then use the same glaze that you've mixed up. And now this time I want to put it onto my brush and glaze it lightly over the surface. And I'm going to create what they call lost and found edges by doing that. Like that brush that you've got there, that is a, I mean, that's a great brush. It's a fabulous brush, but really, don't you think that investing in your tools and getting good tools is half of the secret? Big time amount of it. And what I call this brush is a Harry Larry. I love that. It's the Harry Larry brush. It's also called an ultimate stippler. But now, just like in stenciling in general, the whole way that this works is by pressure and amount of paint mm -hmm. on your brush. So the more paint and the harder the pressure, the more noticeable the treatment is. So when I pull this back real lightly, oh, you can beautiful? see lost and found edges where there's some areas where the pattern is much more pronounced right. and there's some and edges there's where some it's very edges. soft and fades away. So it gives you this sort of old character to it but it's, it's really very an fresh and clean. Finish. You can it's do this really on pretty. furniture, like on an armoire front. You could do oh, it on a, a dresser idea. top. You could do it on a floor cloth. You don't have to just do it on a wall surface. And of course, like you said, adapting it to your colors that you already use in your decor are a big thing. Big thing. So now I always take a peek at my area anyway. I want to make sure that, well, I can't see anything like in right? this area at all. So then I'll lay my stencil back down and say to myself, well, I want just a little bit into that extra area. So I'll come back in and I'll still take a peek again. And now you can see I have a little more bit more, though it's now. not as strong as in sure. other areas. I'm looking for, again, that lost and found edge. Now, I've been trying to um, express to my viewers the importance of practicing on boards like you're working on today. Oh, it's critical. That those are really key because you yeah. get your technique down and you also get to play around with colors. Mm -hmm. And then, but the pressure, I mean, so much of full finishing is the pressure and the amount of pressure, the different looks you can create. And this definitely is a prime example of, you know, being able to go back through and add more pressure, right. do lighter pressure, and it, really get comfortable with the tools. It's, it's absolutely key. I make samples for every one of my clients. Now, if I want to do another step, okay. I can take stencil colors onto a stencil brush. Love that color. And lightly just wisp through. Now, you can see I'm not allowing that magenta color to go everywhere. I'm just wisping in some areas. Okay, now what kind of paint is this? Now this is a hundred percent acrylic based paint. Okay. So it's a liquid paint. Okay. Now I'll take again a green in my case, but I could use any color combination that I want. Okay. And I'm again, now I'm deliberately looking for areas that did not have color of the magenta. That is really awesome. 
and Let's peel back you, you and can take a peek. peek. And then I have one other color oh, that is you can great. add in. That is awesome. Let's take a look if you want to hand me that board right there, okay. Gary. <clears throat> this is another stencil pattern with the exact same, with the exact same concept technique. to it. That is great. So you could really even take some of the stencils that you already have at home, or maybe you have a favorite stencil you used in a room. And I just love the multicolor look. I love the very different backgrounds. I think this is really cool. The softer the look is less paint. This is awesome. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. Once again, I knew that you would solve my decorating dilemmas. Thank you. And I hope that Gary has solved some of your decorating dilemmas at home. And you'll try mixing it up a little bit. That's the fun part about paint.